how exciting was it yesterday to watch that selection show? Really exciting, and we had so many boosters and you know admin from the university there, and it was packed. I mean, our locker was pretty big, and it, you, you were standing shoulder to shoulder next to somebody, and so just the support that we had made it fun, and you know we had pom poms and little uh, confetti stuff, and um, being able to see your university up on ESPN is a big deal, um, and so it meant a lot. It meant a lot to share with my team, and it just meant a lot to be like, yep, we did that. I know your sophomore year, you guys were like the last team yeah. I noticed. How much nicer was it to be like one of the first? <laughs> right, so my sophomore year, we were the very last, I think second to last game, if the last game. Um, and it was, it was not as bad as waiting, not knowing if you're on it. We knew we were gonna be on it, but we were like, oh my gosh, like it's been so long. Where this one, it was really the second game, third game announced, yeah. and so. I wasn't even prepared for it at first. I was like, I turned over and I started talking because I thought we had a little bit, and then all of a sudden I was like, oh, oh, that's us. <laughs> but it happened really quickly. Uh, but I mean, either way, we, both years we knew we were getting in, so it wasn't like that normal yeah. anticipation for some teams, like, oh my gosh, are we going to get that, you know, boat in or not? So. Gotcha. Has it hit you yet that like this is your last, your last? Rodeo, I mean, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. This is your last season, like, last few games that you're going to be playing. Yeah, well, it hit me really hard about a month ago. Um, right when we were trying to pull ourselves out of that January of not playing so well, and, um, it hit me really hard. And um, I struggled for a while really being able to be okay with it. Um, you know, and I just got way too emotional about everything and the last time of everything. And, um, and it wasn't really until I talked to my dad. And he was like, you know what, like, how do you want to go out being remembered, you know, and uh, kind of put things into perspective a little bit. And I was like, okay, don't think so, so long term. It's, you know, one game at a time, do the best you can for each, each game, each practice. And um, it's something that I'm, I'm, I'm a psychology major, so I'm like super in tune with how I'm feeling and emotions and things like that. And so um, I've been thinking about it all year, um, but I'm in a better place now. Was it bringing you down in all kind of aspects? Yeah, I would say so. I, it, and it wasn't even that I wasn't able to play the game of basketball. It was more of like not being part of a team for me. Um, I just I value that so much, and so that was a little bit of a struggle knowing that I wouldn't have have that. Um, but then once I took that into a positive and said, you know what, like I have to enjoy every second I'm left with them. That's you know that's the beauty of sports. So when did you start to to find the excitement again? No. It, right around my birthday, so right around like the end of February. Um, got a little bit more get into it. Started not to be as fearful of it ending, more than excited for what was coming before that. Um, and that's a big deal for me. Um, but it's been fun, and my teammates have been awesome and super supportive the whole time, and my coaches. Um, I had many meetings with Coach B, just like, don't let it get to you, you know what? And, um, I like where we're at now. I like where I'm at now and um, and knit the way I want it to. What did it mean to you to win the Mountain West as a senior? Yeah, uh, that was my goal. I mean, that's what, if anything, that I could have had the worst season ever and I wanted, wanted to go because the beauty of the Mountain West tournament for our conference is like, you could be in last place and you could go win it. Yep. Um, and that's how competitive Hour. I mean, the seventh seed and the fourth seed were in the final, um, and that just makes how competitive our conference is. And so, I, you know, I didn't want. It was almost like this nice little revenge for our January slip up. You know, like, hey, it happened, but that's okay because if we go and win it, it won't matter. And that was kind of our uh, focus the whole time. Kept when we were losing some games in January, we just kept saying, all right, but in March, <laughs> March is our time. We're gonna peak in March, so. Was there a calmness around the team even through the three and six stretch? Yeah, um, I don't think that we got too worried. Every, you know, everyone on this team loves this team, and they're all in for Boise State. Um, so I think the only problems we had was so many people trying to fix it. Like so many people wanted to be that person that like figured it out for everybody, um, not the other way around at all. But everyone just kind of coach sat us down one day and said, "Hey, if everyone just does one thing better, one thing." We'll get ourselves out of this. Um, and sports is a roller coaster. It's what it's about. It's trying to climb your way back out because every team, besides you've gone, every team has their down in a season. 
Has it been difficult balancing? You know, this is your last season. You you want everything to go perfect. You probably want to go 32-0 and yeah. all that kind of stuff. Has it been difficult, like when you were having those losses? Did that get you down more? Were you thinking, gosh, this is how I'm gonna go out? And did you ever kind of think like that? Yeah, I mean, I I would be lying if I said that ne that thought never came across my mind. I don't think it was the focus or um, the major thing I was thinking about, but it definitely was. It crossed my mind, like, oh. You know, I don't, I don't want it to end this way. Um, but like I said, in January, there was a calmness. Like, hey, well, when it comes around in March, when it matters during that tournament, we're going to peak. Yep. And I think every, everyone on the team had that confidence. So. Uh, how much film have you watched UCLA so far? I know they got they got some players. Yeah, um, we are going to watch film for the first time today before okay. practice. Um, I have watched some highlights of their point guard. Mm -hmm. um, but that's about it. You know, I'm not too focused on who we play. Um, it's about the experience, it's about playing our game. Um, of course, film is a, a big part of it, and yep. um, our coaches have been up all night doing scout, they've been telling us, so um, we'll get what we need to know. But I'm about just enjoying what my teammates and doing our stuff. You have no idea how many how many games you have left. This, this yeah. could be it, you could be on a run, who knows? What would it mean to you to win Boise State's first NCAA game. I mean, is is, is yeah. does that has that ever cro has that has that yeah. crossed your mind about being a part of a team that could do that? Yeah, no, uh, for sure. We've done a lot of things this year that we've never done here, um, and for we never won at Fresno, we won there. Um, since I've been here, we didn't win at Wyoming. We won at Wyoming this year. We had one at Colorado State. We won at Colorado State. Um, being able to win two um, conference championships, um, being able to go play at Tennessee was huge. And Know, really compete with them when we were there. Yep. Um, this would just be the icing to the cake, honestly, though. I think if my career ended today, I would be super proud of myself and of the team, of all teams that I've had since I've been here, and the university and being able to say I'm a Bronco. So this is just like this icing on the cake. It's fun, you know, it's exciting, but if it ended today, I'd be really happy.